Good afternoon, everybody. It's Buddy with First Time RVers. Today we're going to head to a whirling gig park in Wilson, North Carolina. Come on and join us. So hey guys, this is going to be a little bit out of order. We're back home now, but I wanted to tell this kind of part of the story, but I didn't see anything at the park itself about it. So I did a little research and this is now an urban legend, but it's what I had originally heard and what my wife had originally heard. But the urban legend had, had it that Mr. Simpson's daughter and her boyfriend got in a car accident on prom night and had been doing drugs and she passed away at the scene and he made his way to Mr. Simpson's house to tell Mr. Simpson what had happened and said they had seen bright lights and all this bright light movement and stuff like that. Um, and he ended up passing away, supposedly. So Mr. Simpson made it his life's mission to build these whirly gigs. A, to memorialize his daughter. B, to help warn people coming around that turn that it was a bad turn. Uh, with all the reflecting, you know, with the reflectors and stuff he was using, it was going to light up the area when people, and they would be able to see this bad curve. And then number three was to try to show what the boyfriend had said they were seeing that night when they were high on drugs. But that's only urban legend. There's nothing truthful that I know of that story. Um, matter of fact, I've watched PBS shows about it and nothing of that story is mentioned. What is mentioned is that he just loved tinkering and when he retired, that's what he wanted to do. So my daughter's gonna join in to uh, give you that quick story. And then we're gonna go ahead and go on to the um, rest of the video. So here's Madison's going to tell the uh, the true story. After serving in World War II for the U.S. Army, Simpson partnered with several friends to open a machinery repair shop. After retiring at 65, he started tinkering around with his collection of odd parts. Using some of the same rigs he developed for moving houses, Simpson began in sh constructing enormous windmills in his yard. The field of these whirl gigs soon began attracting the attention of local people and after the rise of the internet, visitors from out of state. Without any official advertising, Simpson's Farm became one of Wilson County's top tourism destinations. Then in uh, 2010, they announced plans to bring his whirly gigs from his property in Lukama to downtown Wilson and make a park. Unfortunately, he wasn't there to see the finished product, <clears throat> but he was able to see some of the beginning installation of the park. So as you can see, my daughter's <laughs> So that's the urban legend, which is not the true story. Um, I did see on PBS the true story, and as my daughter just said, he basically wanted to tinker with old parts when he retired. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go back to the regular scheduled program. So here we are, guys. Wilson, North Carolina, Whirligig Park. Hopefully you can hear me because it's quite windy and I forgot to bring my microphone. I left it back in the camper. But we're in Wilson, North Carolina, which is only about six, seven miles off of 95. So if you're ever coming up or down the 95 corridor in North Carolina, you should really stop by and take a look at this. But this is a great example of recycling rather than throwing out. And this is all, like I said probably earlier, all wind powered. But this one here we're walking up on, if I were to guess, I would say it's 25 foot tall. And that's one of the smaller ones here. But you can see how intricate they are. I mean, look at this one. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things happening at once there. It's a Christmas tree. 
And like I said, a lot of these are lit up. You can't tell in the daytime, but there's a couple people sawing a log there. There's an airplane behind it with propellers turning. And I would say that one over there in the distance is probably the biggest one here. That's got to be 35, 40 feet in the air. Guys, you probably can't hear me, but you can see how fast this stuff's going. But there are reflectors. There's bicycle rims. Those are all bicycle rims up there. There's it looks like uh, blades from, you know, car fans or whatever else. It's just all recycled items. Again, guys, it makes me sick that I forgot my microphone because the wind is great for the whirly gigs, but it's terrible for me talking. Miss Horton Morton is the artist we spoke with. She goes by Horton Morton. Her last name was Horton and her husband's last name is Morton. But you can find her on Facebook. But she says they have concerts down here now on the weekends. And the farmer's market is here now on the weekends. And they have people that do arts and crafts that are here. Uh, farmer's market and arts and crafts are Wednesdays and Fridays. Just a very cool park. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the uh, North Carolina state line. Can anyone tell me what kind of hubcap that is and what kind of car it came from? Ooh, sorry, I zoomed in so it's quick, very responsive. Looks like something from the 70s to me. There's a couple more folks. Can anyone tell me what cars these came off of? So this is where it all began, folks. Here's an old whirly gig of his. It says Simpson Crossroads on it. <clears throat> I don't want to go in here because it says keep out, but you can see parts and stuff in there. And back over here. But we just came because this is what they called Acid Park. You'd see in your headlights all the reflectors reflecting the light. And um, there's some small ones in there. But I'll tell you the story of where it got the name Acid Park. So folks, I'm going to end the video now. Back here at the uh, Whirly Gig Park. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We're at uh, 250 subscribers now, and it'd be nice to get that number up to 500 in the next couple months. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you would like to see. And we'll be back for our next adventure. Thanks again, folks. Have a great day.